good do, was it? Yeah, from what I can remember. Danny, will you speak to him about this, please? He's underage. Yeah, but not for much longer. Look, I can't stop him having a Christmas drink, can I? Yeah, well, he's just got himself plastered all over the local paper. Look at that. Yeah, I'm not allowed to read that. Gaffer reckons, right, they're running a campaign to get him sacked. Oh, <laughs> blimey. Yeah, what? Get off, look. County kids take a dive. Yeah, let's see. Let's say, shut up. It's not just on the pitch that Weatherfield County players can't stay on their feet. He's reserved winger Warren Baldwin and girlfriend Candice after the Cubs Christmas bash. Look, she's on the back. You can even see her out on wickers. You should have your picture in the paper because you scored a goal, not because you're flat on your backside. Well, it must have been a setup. Oh, yeah, so that's not actually you or Candice then? Warren? Yeah, don't let her read it. You're going to have to tell her sooner or later. Mum, I mean it. Don't let her read it. She'll be gutted. Yes, babe. Sorry, is I interrupting that? No, no, feel free. Do you want to share? Would you like a drink, Noddy? Yeah, can I um, have a glass of water, please? I'm a bit thirsty today. Is that a fact? Yeah, because it's uh, very hot, isn't it? Yeah, can I have a pint of water, please, Violet? Warren, was everything all right last night? Yes, sweetheart. We had a break now. You didn't do anything daft, did I? No. No, of course not. Just... Well, I can't really remember the end of the night because I was drunk. You didn't put anything in my drink, did you? Listen. We had a great night. I was just telling Lisa about it, weren't I? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, do you want Prozac or something? Look, trust me, I promise. It's a great one. Well, well, if it isn't Weatherfield's golden couple. What do you want? You know, I knew you wanted to get your photo in the paper, Candice, but I didn't think you were that desperate. What's she going on about? <laughs> Nothing. You just ignore her. Oh, sorry. Have you not seen today's Gazette? Well, look, I've got a copy here. You can see my knickers. Oh, great. I'm going to be in that celebrity behaving naply now. Uh, Candice, you're not a celebrity. Oh, my God. Look at me. Look at me, Warren. I'm so ashamed. No, it's nothing. Don't know. How can you say that? Have you seen me? I'm like you're bubbing this, aren't you? I cannot lie, yes. <laughs> Did you have something to do with this? Did you tip off the press? What? Candy Stowe, hairdresser to the staff, is laid flat on her back with her legs up in the air. It's hardly going to get him racing to the scene, is it? <laughs> I bet you spat my drink, didn't you? Did you? No! And that's how I ended up drunk in the first place, you vicious little cow! <laughs> Leave her, Candy. She's just jealous. Jealous? You must be joking. You wind up flat on your back with your legs in the air every night of the week, but in your case, it's business as usual, isn't it? No, shut up. Stupid. Come on, Candice. You're better than her, and she knows it. No, because it was our big night, our special night. And now it's all gone wrong. <laughs> <laughs>